Hello my YouTube friends. Twitch isn't just for game streamers these days. There are lots of DJs and musicians and entertainment streams starting to take off. And on Twitch, it's all about the community. And some people really love that and thrive with a great Twitch community feeling. So today I wanted to show you how to set up OBS for streaming on Twitch and how to go live. So let's get to it. My analytics say that 80% of the folks that watch my content are not subscribed. Am I doing something wrong? If so, let me know in the comments. But if you are looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. It's totally free. Twitch is an awesome platform, so let me show you how to live stream to it. So the first thing we wanna do is test our stream speed or test our internet speed. So there's a link to this little app in the description, we just click go. The first thing it's going to do is test our download speed. And then once it's finished with that, it is going to test our upload speed. We're going to need this to determine exactly what we can actually stream at from a resolution and frames per second. And of course we need this information so we know what we can actually stream at from a resolution and a frames per second perspective. When we take a look at this chart, we can see that the internet upload speed that is required to stream to Twitch for each of our resolutions and frames per second. So at 1080 with 60 frames per second, we want 6.528 megabits per second. And of course, 6,000 kilobits per second for our bit rate, 6,000 kilobits per second, 1920 by 1080. So all the information information that you need to determine what you can actually stream at on Twitch is right here. Now that we know our upload rates and we've taken a look at the chart, the question is, what should we stream at? Now I can stream at 1080 with 60 frames per second, but the question is, should I stream at 1080 with 60 frames per second? And the answer to that probably lies in whether you're partnered or just a Twitch affiliate. Now I'm guessing if you're watching this video to learn how to stream to Twitch, you're probably just a Twitch affiliate. And in that case, then you're probably going to want to stream at 720 and 60 frames per second. And here's why. If you're not Twitch partnered, then Twitch doesn't give your viewers the option to modify how they watch your stream. So if you're streaming in 1080 at 60 frames per second, that's the only option that your viewer is going to get. And they may not have an awesome connection or they may be watching on their cell phone with a cell connection, in which case, by streaming at 1920 by 1080 in 60 frames per second, there are gonna be a lot of people who just can't watch your stream and they have no way to adjust it. So you're going to potentially lose viewers. And I really don't recommend you do this. I know everyone wants to have the best possible quality on their live stream. And we've proven that you can do that, but it's best to also make your stream accessible to as many viewers as possible. And you really rule out a lot of people who watch on their cell phone which believe it or not is probably a large percentage of the people when you stream at 1080 and 60 frames per second if you're not partnered. So just dial it down to 720 at 60 frames per second and your machine will thank you also. So the first thing I wanna do is go up here to profile and I wanna click new and of course we're in OBS and I wanna create a new profile, a Twitch profile so that I don't have to worry. I'm gonna uncheck the auto wizard cause we're gonna set it up ourselves. Now we're gonna go down here to the bottom right. We're gonna go into settings and we go to stream and you can see Twitch and I'll show you how to set that up in a second. But the first thing we wanna do is go into output and I'm gonna change it from simple to advanced. Then I'm going to change my encoder if I have a video card that's supported, and I do, mine is the Nvidia card. We want a CBR constant bit rate, and right here under bit rate, we're going to put in those recommendations we got off the chart. So if we're going to stream in 720, we need 4500. I'm gonna set my presets to max quality and my profile to high, and you can either check or uncheck these. It kind of depends what type of stream you're doing. So just mouse over the question marks, and. It it will show you what they do. If you need them, you can check them. If you wanted to do uh, 1080 at 60 frames per second, then you put it at 6,000. Otherwise, we're gonna do 4,000 to 4,500. 
If you go into audio, you can see the bit rate that your audio is going out at, and you can change this up if you want. I find 160 to be perfectly fine. If you go into audio here, you can change those settings. There's really nothing that needs to be changed here though. Next, we're gonna go into video, and we're going to go, and you see our output scaled resolution is already 720. We wanna change our canvas resolution to that as well, so that our encoder's not doing a lot of extra work. Then we wanna drop this down and we wanna select that 60 frames per second. And we're all set, we can click apply. And you can see our window in the back shrank a little bit. Now there's nothing you need to change in general and hotkeys and advanced are nothing you need to worry about the first time you stream. And let me show you, if you don't have a video card, you just select X264, you're going to go ahead and put your bit rate in there. And you wanna go ahead and select a CPU usage preset that's gonna work for you. Now, this works such that ultra fast is going to encode very quickly, but it's also going to have the poorest quality of stream. Whereas the lower you go on that list, the higher the quality and of course the more CPU usage. So I like to uh, usually go with medium. I don't think you really get much better after that anyways. I go with profile high and my tune I use film. Once I have that all set up, all we really need to do is just connect our stream. So you go into stream and I'm gonna click the connect to Twitch. I'm gonna put in my Twitch username and my Twitch password. And here it's gonna ask me to authenticate. It sends an email to me and I just have to put in the code and then I have to authorize for OBS. And now we're authenticated. If you love the live streaming content, you can really help me out by clicking that thumbs up button right down there. When you do, you make YouTube share this video content to a wider audience. And that really does help me out. And it makes my cat Dusty super happy too. So thanks. You have this Twitch chat add-ons. Chances are if this is your first stream, you don't have any. And ignore streaming service settings. You don't really wanna do that unless you absolutely have to or you just wanna to try to do some testing with some different settings. I would leave those the way they are. You can actually drop down the server and select your own if you would like. I find that auto seems to work perfectly fine. And I can just click apply and you can see automatically our chat box is added and also our stream information box is added. And we can go ahead and grab these and dock them if we'd like. And we'll dock one on each side. So that means now your chat's embedded in OBS. You're going to be able to see it while you're streaming. So let's go ahead and set this up. We're gonna change our title up. And this is a little description. Just leave that the way it is. In the search category, you're going to put in here what your stream is about. Most likely, if you're streaming to Twitch, you're going to be gaming, so you can type the name of the game in here. I'll just put in The Witcher and it will come up. And you can scroll through here and just select the game you want. If you're doing some other type of stream, obviously you can put in the type of stream that you're doing, whether it's music related or something like that, you could put that in here as well. And you can select your tags here as well. It kind of puts these ones in here already. If you wanted to search for more, you certainly can. You select your language, and then when you're done, you're all set. So we've already got our chat in here. All we really need to do now is just go live. So if we click start streaming, and we are live on Twitch right now. It's really that simple. Um, if we go over here to our Twitch stream, we can actually see this. We'll go to our channel. This will go to our channel. And you definitely want to mute that if you're actually going to produce content. You don't want it feeding back into your microphone. But now we are live on Twitch, you can see. Obviously, you probably want to be playing games. You can see that also that the image looks really good, even though it's only 720. So that's pretty awesome. And we can come over here and we can go into our view and go to docs and then we can put our stats doc in here so if we take a look at our stats doc we can see that we are streaming at 60 frames per second it gives us all the important information about missed frames and lagged frames and skipped frames and all that kind of stuff you can see we're live all the information is important here's our bit rate if we go down here it also shows you our bit rate we're green which means our stream is pretty good and no drop frames, no nothing. That's what you're looking for. So 
that's pretty much all there is to it. If you want to see how to create overlays for your live streams, you should check this playlist out. There's a whole bunch of them and they're totally free. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.